Good morning, Tiffy and Bethy. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? It's friendship, friendship, just a perfect friendship. Now you guys know how I am. I'm pretty much really shy and nervous and really value my alone time. But to be honest, I didn't hear the word introvert until college. When I was in college, I was having a lot of problems. I was really struggling to keep up in class and I was still trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I went to the counselor's office one day and she gave me a placement test. She said, well, you are an introvert and these are a list of jobs that would suit an introvert. And I was kind of like, what the hell does introvert mean? Because for all I knew, I thought introvert meant unsociable, snotty, uh, shy, and of course the introverts get that bad rap and I didn't really understand until I bought this book. Now this book actually, the way I found it, pretty much happens the way you would imagine it would in the movies. Hello there. Do you feel like a fish out of water? Um, yes. Do you feel like people just don't understand your feelings? Do you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain? What? Then this book is for you. Let's do a quick rundown between the difference of introverts and extroverts. Introverts uh, tend to be run by their emotions uh, rather than extroverts who are run by sense and logic. Uh, introverts prefer to recharge by being alone, where extroverts prefer the company of other people in fact, many introverts often get that scared feeling of not fitting in, but that's because 70 to 75 percent of the world is extroverted. And that, some say, is thanks to Sigmund Freud, because he was working with two other gentlemen about how people retain their energy. And he got the feeling that if you're reverting into yourself to retain your energy, then that is just the wrong way of doing things, because he was always right. So he started telling all of his patients, and pretty much all of humanity, that being an introvert was bad and so society has accepted that extroverted way of living and that is why introverts are pretty much shunned into thinking that they're weirdos. Some introverts have a really hard time committing to social events and that can sometimes lead to missing out on some really good opportunities. For example, the other day I decided to try Zumba for the first time but I realized that there was nobody there except for the teacher. And then I started freaking out because all the attention would be on me and my jiggling, dancing fat and nobody else, and then... Hello? I can't! Introverts look inward for answers, and they tend to overthink things, which can sometimes lead to them taking your words to heart. Phew, I totally have what it takes to be a secret agent. Watch this. Good job! Isn't that awesome? You, uh, kind of rolled in dog shit. What? And you don't want to be my friend anymore because I do stupid things. That's not things. true. Yeah, because I rolled in the crap and I'm smelly. And because I'm You old, aren't smelly. The other week you said I had a wrinkle, but really, I, I just fell asleep on my corduroy. There are some other common misconceptions about introverts. For example, don't automatically think that if someone bursts in the room and yells, What's up, bitches? that they're an extrovert. Introverts do have little bursts of extroversion, especially if the subject is of particular interest to them. In this case, bitches. So I really recommend this book, if you're interested. It's called The Introvert Advantage by Marty Olson Laney. And uh, it's really making a lot of things clear to me. If you meet an introvert, fantastic. If you don't know how to handle them, look it up, read the book, don't treat them like a complete alien. I mean, because they will, they will be your friend. Oh my god, it is so hot! I'll see you guys later.